music guy. Put your hands into the sky. Let your imagination fly. Learn things you can apply. Kevin the music guy. Kevin the music guy. Kevin the music guy. Let's jam. Hey guys, it's Kevin the music guy. I'm here to show you about a new instrument. You said it's in my ear? Oh, there's a drumstick here. And one in my pocket. Look at that. How convenient. They're yellow and blue. Of course, I'm Kevin the Music Guy. They make a really cool sound when you hit them together. Ooh, maybe we can do something like this. Maybe if I hit... Wow, drumsticks are cool. They make different sounds. This makes an X. Or number one. Do you know what else is called a drumstick? That's right. A chicken drumstick. These, oh, I can't eat these. That wouldn't taste very good. I can't eat a drumstick. You can only eat a chicken drumstick when it's cooked really well. Make sure you never eat drumsticks from music. These are made of wood and probably wouldn't taste very good anyway. Okay, so you ready to learn about drumsticks today? Let's learn some more. Hey guys, did you know that drumsticks were used as far back as the Middle Ages? And they were actually used in Asia back to the 7th century AD. Isn't that awesome? These are really old. Now the modern ones didn't come about until later. But we'll talk a little bit more about some other things about some drumsticks. Hey kids, you know, these drumsticks are kind of weird shaped. They start out kind of the same, and, th and then they go smaller. And then there's this little tip of this drumstick. Do you know why it's shaped like this? Hmm. This is what they call the bead. B-E-A-D. And it's the tip of the drumstick, and it's shaped the way it is so that you have a consistent sound when you hit a cymbal or a drum. Cool! Ah, ah, drum, 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 drum. Then this is called the butt of the drumstick, and it's kind of a funny name, but that's what it's called. And it's so that you have a really nice place to hold the sticks so that you can make those really cool sounds on the drums and the cymbals and the ching. Hopefully we can use these one day in one of our other episodes and we can show you some cool stuff with drumsticks. I hope you'll be there and I hope you'll learn with me. Hey kids, did you know that drumsticks are mainly made of hickory wood? These are painted, so you can't really tell. But then they also use maple wood and oak wood and made of carbon fiber. Really cool. Dum, da, da, dum, bum, bum. Did you know that there's two ways to hold your drumsticks? You can actually have traditional grip, which is kind of like what I'm holding now where I have two different ways of holding my hands. So one is my hand is over and one is my hand is under holding the sticks so that I can make noises and do like this. The other type of grip is called matched grip. And that's when both hands match the same. I could have them both over or both underneath. And I could play like this. Or like this. Matched grip. Traditional grip. It's called traditional grip because most people use it and it's been used a lot. 
that doesn't mean that most people use it nowadays. A lot of people like matched group. So you can choose which one you like and your teacher may help you choose that so that you make the best choice and you learn the best you can. And I hope you're successful at it and I hope you like the drums. I hope you like learning the drumsticks with me today. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you soon. Let's learn with Kevin the music guy. Put your hands into the sky. Let your imagination fly. Learn things you can apply. Kevin the music guy. Kevin the music guy. Kevin the music guy. Kevin the music guy. Let's jam.